嗨，各位同学好，欢迎来到 Forty Forex 自然音标。Forty Forex 自然音标的课程，今天老师要为你介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day。Vocabulary of the Day。同样的，今天我们可以到 cn.com、edition.cn.com 去寻找本日的 Headline News of the Day， 并且从中去了解一些单字的拼音技巧以及逻辑。Okay, students, let's go to the cn.com, edition.cn.com, and search for the headline news of the day. And we can pick, probably pick it up some vocabulary words and learn their pronunciation and spelling skill. Okay, today under the session news and buzz, ancient Egyptian queen's doomsday prediction. News and buzz, ancient. Egyptian Queen's Doomsday Prediction. Again, news and buzz. Ancient Egyptian Queen's Doomsday Predictions. Okay, students. Let's jump to, let's jump to the article for today. And just remember, if you wish to study with me with this article title, on the top right hand side you will see a search menu on the top right hand side, and please type the article title here, and we can study this article together. The article for today is the ancient Egypt suffers from climate change. The ancient Egypt suffered from climate change. The ancient Egypt suffered from climate change. The recent discovery of Ken Cole's three tomb in Absar, Sire, Egypt, fills in a black patch in the history of.、Um, All kingdom, according to Dick Leader Professor Miroslav Bodab, located a few hundred feet from the unfinished tomb of her husband, Farah Nafarafa, also known as Renafarif. Her tomb is one of the several significant historical finds in the country in recent months. Story highlight: Ken Kong III was a queen in the era of the Old Kingdom, 2649 to 2050 BC. Her tomb was found in November in Absir, southwest of Cairo. The discovery helps to illuminate a black patch in that period in time. Okay, I'm going to read the CNN headline news. CNN new details have emerged of a previously unknown queen of ancient Egypt, and if the professor behind the find is correct, it could be bad news for the rest of us. Reports surfaced in November of the tomb of Kent Car III, a queen in the era. Of the Old Kingdom, 2640, 2649 to 2050 BC, discovered in a necropolis in Absir, southwest of Cairo, she lay 650 feet away from her husband, Farah Nafarafri, also known as a Renafarif, who ruled some 4500 years ago. The find helps color what Project Leader Professor Miroslav Bata calls a black patch in the history of our kingdom. Despite holding the epithets Queen Mother, no thanks to graffiti scrawled on the wall of her final resting place, never referees. Principal Y was a historical、uh, hiso unknown, as the team from the Zach 
Institute uh, of e Egypt Egyptology begins the long process of analyzing the contents of the tomb, but I believe he may offer insights in, into a time not dissimilar from our own and uh, from which disaster struck and the ruin ensued. Okay, I'm going to stop right here and then let's go for the notes I have prepared for you guys to study. Uh, okay, today's article uh, is uh, pretty hard to uh, pronounce those uh, ancient Egyptians name. Okay, let's go for the article. Let, let's first start with Let's begin with the article title uh, for the day. Uh, please read along with me. News and Buzz Ancient Egyptians Queen's Doomsday Predictions. News and Buzz Ancient Egyptian Queen's Doomsday Predictions. News and Buzz Ancient Egyptian Queen's Doomsday Predictions. Okay, there are two vocabulary words for today. As usual, we are going to discuss those vocabulary words, meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition. Let's start with the first vocabulary word, and we are using spelling bees, pronunciation, and the spelling improvement and the skill. Take a look at the first vocabulary words, ancient, ancient. Ancient adjective belonging to the very distant past and no longer in existence. The ancient civilizations of the Mediterranean. More example sentences. According to the newspaper, the coin belongs to an ancient civilization that flourished in Al Jov. Origin, lay Middle English from all French, ancient, based on Latin, and before. Let's take a look at the second vocabulary word. Egypt. 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 Definition of Egypt in English. A country in northeastern Africa of the medieval Mediterranean. C population sixty eight million eight hundred sixty six and the six hundred estimate two thousand nine capital Cairo official language Arabic The population of Egypt is concentrated chiefly along the fertile valley of the Nile River because the rest of the country is largely Desert. Egypt's history spans 5,000 years. The ancient kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt were, were ruled successfully by 31 dynasties, which may be divided into the Old Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom, and the New Kingdom. Egypt was the center of a Hellen Hellenistic culture and then a Roman province before coming under Islamic rule and then becoming part of the Ottoman Empire. Modern Egypt became independent in 1922. From 1958 to 1961, Egypt was united with Syria as the United Arab Republic, a title it retained until 1971 Wars with Israel, where far in 1967 the Six Day War and the 1973 the Yom Kippur or October War. The country signed a peace treaty in 1979. In 2011, a series of popular demonstrations led to President Hosni Mubarak leaving office. 
Okay, students. Now I'm going to repeat the pronunciation and definition parts again, and this time I want you to read along with me. Ancient. 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 Adjective. Belonging to the very distant past and no longer in existence, the ancient civilization of the Mediterranean. More example sentences. According to the newspaper, the coin belongs to an ancient civilization that flourished in Al Jaf. Origin. Lay Middle English from all French ancient, based on Latin and before. Take a look at the second vocabulary word: Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Definition of Egypt in English: a country in northeastern Africa on the Mediterranean Sea. Population. Seventy-eight million eight hundred sixty-six and six hundred, as the May two thousand nine capital, Cairo official language. Arabic. The population of Egypt is concentrated chiefly along the fertile valley of the Nile River, because the rest of the country is largely desert. Egypt's history spans five thousand years. The ancient kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt were ruled successively by thirty-one dynasties, which may be divided into the Old Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom, and the New Kingdom. Egypt was a center of Hellenistic. Culture and then a Roman province before coming under Islamic rules and then becoming part of the Ottoman Empire. Modern Egypt became independent in 1922. From 1958 to 1961, Egypt was united with Syria as the United Arab Republic, a title it retained until 1971, was with Israel. Where far in 1967 the Six Day War and the 1973 the Yom Kippur or October War, the country signed a peace treaty in 1979. In 2011, a series of popular Demonstrations led to President Hosni Mubarak leaving office. Okay, now students, it's a time we're gonna read the final two vocabulary words in forty phonics, spelling and pronunciation improvement. Take a look. The first vocabulary word: ancient. Ancient. 来，我们看，呃、uh, ，ancient 跟由于法文的 a <coughs> a n c i e n <coughs> sorry <coughs> ok 来自法文的 a i a n c i e n 好，所以呃， uh, 我们看多了个 t 啊，在美英文哈，所以我们看它的重音在第一个音节，好，所以它的 strong syllable 在第一个音节。把它的弱音节 weak syllable 在我们的第二音节。我们看第一个音节，我们看我们在第二音节是记得哈，这个弱音节这个地方 c i 我们先把它合起来。我们记得 c e c i c y 它都可以念 s 或者是 sh。那我们记得 c 打两双线代表它是一个 digraph。那 y e i y 打叉。所以这边我们就念嘘，那落母音在一，好，所以标个落母音在一，所以我们念 shent， c i e n t 就念 shent， 啊，所以 c i 再看一遍 c i e n t， 啊 c， digraph i 不发音
一，弱母音 s h e n 啊，所以 c i a n 也会念 s h e n 啊，所以这这种啊发音法。那当然，第一个音节是 strong syllable， 我们看它的组合 ，onset a 首音。哦，我们不是首音 A 哈 ，nucleus 它是用 nucleus 合音开头，所以 nucleus A 啊，我们用合音开头，母音开头 ，followed by coda 尾音啊，跟着一个尾音 n 啊，当然我们知道 nucleus and the coda nucleus 加 coda 等于 rhymes 啊。韵音，它的韵音就是 a n m， 啊，它是 rhymes， 它的韵音，啊，押韵的音就是 a n， 所以它是一个 v c 的组合。再看一下 a n c r e n t， 啊，我们再来看 v 加 c， 啊 ，vowel and the consonant，vowel and the consonant，v 加 c，v 加 c，v 加 c c。v 加 c 加 c， 啊，或者是 v 加 c 再加 c 再加 c， 他们都会是 short vowels， 短母音 ，short vowels， 短母音。那 a 的短母音就念 a， 所以我们这边画个下降的箭头 ，m。c i diagram as sh， weak vowel e as n， ancient。again。a n break c i e n t v 加 c short vowel a n digress c i as sh weak vowel e n ancient ancient a n interpon c r e n t Man strive first syllable. V and C, short vowel A, M. C I digraph as sh, weak vowel E, and ancient, ancient, ancient. 我们来看第二个单词 Egypt, E G Y P. T, sorry, E G Y P T, Egypt. 好，我们看 Egypt 重音在第一个音节。哦，重音在第一个音节哈。所以我们第一个音节是什么 ？Strong syllable. Strong syllable. First syllable. 啊 ，weak syllable. 弱音节第二个音节，所以第二个音节我们看 ，g e g i g y， 跟刚刚一样 ，g 画双线都可以念 j， 那 e i y 啊如果不发音也有可能，发音的话都是像这个情况，因为重音在第一节，我们直接在 y 这个地方补弱母音 ，g 画双线 j u p t 啊弱母音在 y。那第一个音节，我们看它只有 nucleus， 啊，它是用 nucleus 一、e、开头，而且它没有其他的音了，所以这时候是什么样的发音呢？请看 ，e g y p t d i a g r a p h g w e a k vowel i j u p t j u p t j u p t 那这边因为只有一个母音，它是 v 加。Interpon， 啊 ，v 加 interpon， 啊 ，v 加音节符号，直接就是 v， 啊 ，v and the vowel and the syllable， 好，它直接套用，所以它套用的公式是 vowel before syllable， 母音是唯一的母音，母音又在音节符号前，所以母音要念声母音，所以我们念长母音 e， long vowel e， 所以再看一遍 e。G Y P T low vowel E digraph G weak vowel I E G up Egypt Egypt 
Egypt. Again, E G Y P T. Vowel before syllable. Low vowel E. E. G I as diagram J. Weak vowel Y. Jupt. Egypt. 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 好的，同学们，我们再来复习这两个单词的拼音规则。Ancient, ancient, ancient. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. 好的，同学们，还是一样啊。如果你觉得 David 老师有这个自然发音的方式，啊 p h o n e t 规则带领你进入 p h o n e t i c 音标的世界，并且用 p h o n e t i c 自然音标，用线性符号来表达母音发音的可能性，如短母音、长母音、轻母音、双母音，以及用线性符号表达子音的特殊发音规则，能解决你对发音以及。拼音上的逻辑技巧概念的话，也欢迎大家用 Google Plus 啊，用 Google Plus、Google 加 David 老师做好友。Thanks for your video watching on my 啊、uh, to my YouTube channel. And if you find my 啊、uh, videos are useful, and you can try use Google Plus and、uh, find my ID David T D I N G A D A and Google Plus. And add me, my username David T D I G A D A, into your Google Plus friend circle. And also, if you wish, you can write me a email. My email account is the same David T D I G A D A at gmail dot com. I'm also using Line Communicator. My Line ID is David T one six eight eight eight. And feel free to write me a message. And、uh, Thanks for your video watching. If you find my videos are useful, please subscribe my YouTube channel. And at last, thanks.、Uh, I wish you the best to conquer English. 以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day. 谢谢各位同学观赏